This morning in the Eagle Studio, we have Crystal Reimer with us. Crystal, good morning. Hi, good morning. And Crystal, you're joining us uh, this morning from Miami, Manitoba. And uh, you guys have been having a whole lot of fun time with the rodeos and harness racing and stuff like that going on. Yeah, it's been busy lately. And uh, throughout the uh, the past couple of months, throughout the whole year, you've been busy uh, writing a book. We have you here today to talk about The Summer 10, your brand new novel. Talk about where this book started. I, I feel like it was probably 20... 20 when I started writing it. Um, I had been in Thailand in 2019 doing volunteer work um, and there was a family that I worked with who had a daughter and um, after returning home for a couple months um, I heard she was in an accident Mm -hmm. and she was bedridden for a while Um, and I couldn't imagine her. She's such a spark plug. (laughs) She's so much energy. So um, I uh, was inspired to write a story for her Um, While she was stuck in bed, she could still go out and have adventures and have a good laugh with some uh, some fun characters. Uh, And that was the first, I think, big push to write it. And then I felt like, well, let's just make it bigger and more fun um, and then share it with other people. Yeah. And so now it's a, it's a fully fledged novel there <laughs> named The Summer Ten. And so yeah. talk about what this what this book is about. What can readers expect when they when they crack it open? Uh, Leah and Finley are the main characters. Um, they've just graduated grade eight, um, and uh, Finley's father is going to make him get a job next year um, when he starts high school. So this is the last summer to just go out and have a good time and do whatever they want. So they make a list of ten things they always wanted to do, um, and take that summer and set out to do them. Right on. And so they go through this long list and we went through the list on the radio. There is a lot of different things like drive a car and sneak into a movie. Uh-huh. And so it looks like we're in, we're in for a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a good. T- I mean, I'm a little biased. I wrote it, but I think it's a really good time. Right on. And so this is uh, the first book that you've uh, ever published and went through writing and publishing it. And so now you're also going to go on your first mini book tour. Talk about this tour. Yeah, um, I will be in a couple of different places this week and next Um on uh, Wednesday, I will be in Altona at 2, a, uh, 2 p.m., not a.m., thankfully, oh, uh, 2 p.m. doing a reading and followed with a Q&A session. And then this Friday, I will be in uh, Manitou Library doing the same thing at 2 p.m. Um, and then next week on Wednesday, August the 2nd, I will be at the Winkler Library doing the same thing. There we go. So that's mm-hmm. got to be exciting to hit up all those libraries. <laughs> it is. It's a lot of fun. And I, I grew up in the area, so I know where the everyone is and the community's been so wonderful right on and so if people do want to uh, you know take a peek at the book or they want to pick it up for themselves where can they do that um they can get a copy uh paperback or kindle um on amazon.com or they can go to saguaro books and get a paperback copy there as well um they're the publisher for the book there we go well we look forward to uh, to seeing how your mini book tour goes crystal thank you so much for coming in today thank you for having me Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.